Hey guys, this is uh, Coffee Chug, and I'm here to help you with some of your Scratch programming using the Raspberry Pi. One of the issues that we were running into was trying to get the broadcast code working with our if-then statements as we were trying to work through the program our push button. So a couple things to think about troubleshooting. First, make sure you have your wires properly. Some of you um, don't have your wires connected. So obviously, we, a couple things. Well, I shouldn't say obviously. That, that wasn't fair to say. We have here, okay, we're building our circuit. I have my 3.3 volts right here in the first GPIO pin. I have a wire plugged in to GPIO pin um, 1 right here, which is going to give me my 3.3 volts of power. And I have that plugged in on my breadboard right here going across. It doesn't matter where you pick, just as long as you can get your LED lights going on there. This wire is on GPIO pin 6. This is the ground. And I have this plugged into the negative column. Okay, remember we talked about there's a copper strip that runs all the way down. Then I have a resistor from the negative, okay, plugged in one row underneath where my 3.3 volts is. So you can see here, okay, let me remove this out of the way. We've got a complete circuit. I've got my negative with my resistor, okay, plugged in straight across. This is on, on row five. I then have my 3.3 volts plugged into row four. And then my LED light, I have my positive leg plugged in to the power and the, the negative leg plugged into the negative. That's why the LED light works. All right. I then also have one more wire plugged in and this goes on the negative column or negative row, excuse me. All right. And I have this wire plugged in to GPIO pin 24. It's right here. Okay. It's nine pegs down if you count across. This gives me my circuit. I then have my button plugged into the last column all the way down here. All right, it's the very last column. So here it is. You can see it, you can pause this video, you can take a look at it, there's a side view. Okay, so this is how you should have it. If you don't have it this way, your code isn't gonna work if you're trying to copy this code. So make sure you have that. Pause, double check, make sure it works. Now, let's take a look at the code here in order to create this push button for the push button to actually work. What we need to do is get our control. So we're going to bring over when clicked, the green flag. All right. Then, as we've been working on in our previous things, and maybe this is your first time, it's okay, we're going to need to bring over the broadcast. So, in control, all right, we have a broadcast. It's right down here. We're going to drag that over. Now, what a lot of you are doing is you're spelling things incorrectly. So if I hit this drop down arrow, I need to click new. And in my message name, I'm going to call this GPIO server on. Some of you don't know how to spell server, so make sure you spell it correctly. All right, so I've got that, and there it is. It shows up broadcast GPIO server on. Now, we're going to turn the config on. This is where the push button is in, in GPIO 21. So I'm going to create a new, and I'm going to type in config 21 in. Config 21 in. Next, we're going to add a forever. So I'm going to go through my forever and I'm going to drag that over. All right. Once I have my, my forever in, I got to add the if. And this is where things start to get a little confusing for some of you. In my if, I've got to set the parameters. So what I'm going to do here 
is I got to go here to operators and I'm going to add my equal. You can see the shape here. All right, so I got to have the same thing, but equal. I'm going to set this to zero. And now I got to add my GPIO 21 pin. So I got to go back here to my control, or excuse me, my operator. Okay, so once I have my equal in, I got to go to sensing. It's the, the blue. And I'm going to choose right over here, it says slider sensor value. I'm going to plug that into that white spot right there. But I don't need slider. I need to highlight GPIO 21. So if you don't have these things typed in correctly, it's not going to read it. You've got to have your wiring done properly so it can read and it actually identifies that that pin is being activated. So I need to select that. A lot of you weren't getting that option because your wiring was incorrect and your spelling wasn't correct. So I've got that. All right, so once I have that GPIO 21 in for sensor value of zero, I want to say good job. And I'm going to switch it for two seconds, just make it one. Then I'm going to do the same process again. If, and this is all going to be in that forever loop. If my operator signal is equal this time to one. All right. I need now my slider sensor value in here. I need to just like up here, choose GPIO 21. And again, if you don't have that option, you don't have your things wired properly and you don't have your coding and your broadcast done properly. GPIO 21 with a sensor of one. Okay, then we're gonna go to the purple for looks and we're going to say, press the button for one second. And now when I run this program, says press the button as you can see all right and I should be able to make this work and say good job there we go I hold the button down to activate it good job I let go press the button good job I let go there you go so check that and let me know that you have it working